Hello and good day. This is Teacher Anand de Guzman and welcome back to our class. Our lesson for today is Sector and Segment of a Circle. After going through this lesson, you are expected to illustrate Sector and Segment of Circle and solve problems involving Sector and Segment of a Circle. In the previous lesson, we talked about some parts of the circle, so this time we'll talk more on parts of the circle. So let's start with central angle. So central angle of a circle is an angle formed by two rays whose vertex is on the center of the circle. Each ray intersects the circle at a point. So if we will consider our circle O, so we have ray OY and ray OR, and they intersect at point O. So, we have a central angle ROY, or we call this one angle ROY, is the central angle. And its sides divide the circle O into arcs. So, let's move on to the arcs of a circle. So, there are three types of arc of a circle. So, the first one is the semicircle. Semicircle is an arc with a measure equal to one half the circumference of the circuit. Let's recall if we say circumference of a circle, so this is distance around the circuit. So our example for our semicircle is RMYR. So this is the symbol. Next one, we have the minor arc. It is an arc of the circle that measures less than the semicircle. In this particular example, so we can have arc MY as well as R, Y, R. It proves that the measure of R, M, Y is less than the measure of M, Y, R, as well as the measure of R, Y, R is less than the measure of R, M, Y, R. Lastly, we have the major R. Major R is, is, is an R of a circle that measures greater than the semicircle. In this example, we can have R, M, R, Y. Let's move on to the degree measure of an R. So the degree measure of a minor R is the measure of the central angle which intercepts the R. So let's have example here. So angle R, O, Y is a central angle. It intercepts the circle O at point R and Y. The measure of angle R, O, Y is equal to the measure of the arc R, Y. And the degree measure of the major R is equal to 360 minus the measure of the minor R with the same endpoints. Lastly, the degree measure of the semicircle is equal to 180 degrees. Let's have example number one. In the figure circle A, the central angle angle RAY and the measure of angle RAY is equal to 114 degrees. Find the measure of RY as well as the measure of R R M Y. So let's start with angle R A Y is a central angle, and the measure of angle R A Y is equal to 114 degrees. Then the measure of angle or arc R Y is the same as 114 degrees. Next, so the measure of arc R M Y is equal to 360 degrees minus the measure of arc. Ry. Since the measure of arc Ry is 114 degrees, subtract it from 200, uh, 360, so the answer is equal to 246 degrees. Another definition of term that we will discuss today is sector of a circle. Whenever we say sector of a circle, is the region bounded by an arc of the circle and the two radii to the endpoints of the arc. In this example, we have circle A and we have 
segments AB as well as AC. So, the area of the sector is equal to the measure of the arc divided by 360 degrees times pi r squared. Remember, this pi r squared is actually the formula for the area of the circle. And another thing, the measure of the arc is expressed in degree measure. Let us now consider our problem number two. In a circle A, the radius is 12 centimeters. If the measure of angle BAC is equal to 60 degrees, what is the area of the sector BAC? Let us recall that the area of the sector is equal to the measure of the arc divided by 360 times the area of the circle in the form of pi r squared. So let's substitute. So this is equal to the measure of the arc is equal to 60 degrees all over 360 degrees times pi times the value of r is equal to 12 squared. So simplifying it further, so we factored out 60 and 360, so this will give us 1, while this one is equal to 6. So we have 1 over 6 times pi r squared, which is times 144. And I can factor out 6 and 44. So this will resolve us 24 times pi. So the value of this one is 75.40. So again, so the area of the sector is equal to 75.40 cm squared. Let's have another example for the sector of a circle. Number 3. In a circle R, the radius is 6 cm. If the measure of the arc MN is equal to 90 degrees, what is the area of the sector MRN? Again, let's start with the formula. The area is equal to measure of the arc all over 360 times pi R squared. Substitute the values of 90 and 6 respectively. So we will come up with 1 4 times 36 pi. And take note that we can factor out 36 and 4. So this will give us 9. So we have 9 pi. 9 times the value of pi which is approximately 3.14. So we come up with 28.26. Therefore, the area of the sector MRN is 28.26 square centimeter. Let's have another example a sector of a circle. So in the circle O, the radius is 8 centimeter. If the measure of the arc BK is 150 degrees, what is the area of the sector BOK? So let's start with the formula first. So the area is equal to the measure of the arc divided by 360 times pi r squared. So let's substitute the values of 150 degrees as well as the radius of 8. Simplifying it further, so we come up with 5 over 12 times 64 pi. Because if you will observe, 8 times 8 is, is equal to 64 and divide both 150 degrees and 360 by 30. So we come up with 5 and 12 respectively. Then simplify it further, we have 80 over 3 pi, or this is equal to 83.76. So therefore, the area of the sector BOK is 83.73 centimeter squared. A while ago, we talked about the sector of the circle. So this time, let's talk about the segment of the circle. So this is the region of the circle bounded by an arc and the segment joining the endpoints. Let us consider the circle A. So the shaded region in the figure is the segment of circle A. It is in the region bounded by the measure of arc BC and the measure of the segment BC. So let us now solve for the segment of the circle. Let us consider this problem. If BC or arc BC is equal to 90 degrees and the radius of the circle is equal to 5 cm, then what is the area of the shaded segment? So first, 
let's have the area of the sector. So to find the area of the sector, we will use the formula of the measure of the R divided by 360 times pi R squared. Let's substitute the value of 90 degrees and pi centimeters respectively. So we can factor out 90 into 360 as well as 90. So we come up with 1 fourth times 25 pi. Or this is equal to 25 over 4 pi. So this is the area of the sector. Next, let's find the area of the triangle. Recall that the area of the triangle is equal to base times height divided by 2. Our base is equal to 5 cm and our height is also 5 cm because they have the same value or the same radius. So we have 5 times 5 over 2. So this is equal to 25 over 2. After we found out the area of the sector as well as the area of the triangle, so the next step is deduct the area of the sector minus the area of the triangle in order to find the area of the shaded segment. So we have 25 over 4 pi minus 25 over 2. We simply rename the fraction as 25 over 4 pi minus 50 over 4. So we have, since we have now the same denominator, so we have 25 pi minus 50 all over 4, or this is equal to 7.13. So therefore, the area of the shaded segment is equal to 7.13 square centimeters. An example a while ago for you to determine the segment of a circle is you will use three-step formula. But this time, you will use a single step formula. So let us consider problem number 6. If R x, Y is equal to 150 degrees and the radius of the circle is 5 cm, then what is the area of the shaded segment? So first, we will find the area of the segment such that R squared all over 2 times pi all over 180 times C minus sine of C, wherein C is the central angle in degree measure, so R is the radius and sine is the trigonometric function. So let's substitute the values. So we have pi squared all over 2 times pi all over 180 times 150 degrees minus sine of 150 degrees. Using our calculator, we come up with 26.47. Therefore, the value or the area of the shaded segment is 26.47 cm squared. So let's move on to the next term. So we have arc length. So the length of an arc, which can be determined by using the proportion A over 360 is equal to L all over 2 pi r, such that A is the degree measure of this arc, r is the radius of the circle, and L is the arc length. Let us apply the formula. If arc PQ is 120 degrees, what is the length of arc BQ? Again, remember that we will use the formula A all over 360 is equal to L all over 2 pi R. Take note that our A is equal to 120 degrees while our radius is equal to 5 based on the given. Okay, let's substitute in the formula. So we have 120 degrees all over 360 is equal to L all over 2 pi times 5. Take note that 120 and 360 is divisible by 120. So 120 divided by 120 is 1. And 360 divided by 120 is 3. So what we have is one third is equal to L all over 10 pi. Using the cross product, 1 times 10 is equal to 10 pi, which is equal to 3 times L is 3L. So we have 3L is equal to 10 pi. Then divide both sides by 3. So we have L is equal to 10 pi all over 3. 
So L is equal to 10.47. So therefore, the length of arc BQ is equal to 10.47 centimeters. So that ends our lesson. So thank you. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel so that you will be notified for my new videos. Once again, thank you very much.